it is to, to again see you. See someone who said, hey, I'm a follower of Christ. I'm going his way. I want to be baptized. I want to do all he wants me to do. I want Jesus to be Lord. Usually when we baptize somebody, we read that classic passage in Romans chapter 6. But I just read you just a, a few individual verses about this matter of baptism and what God's word says about it. In Romans 6 it says, or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. He died and in a pictorial, symbolic way, the old self dies. The I'm going to live for me dies, but now I'm going to live for the one who dies for me. I'm going to live because he took my place on the cross and I've repented of my sins and I want to follow him. It says in 1 Corinthians 12, 13, for we were all baptized by one spirit in one body. For the Jews of Greek, slave or free, we were all given one spirit to drink. We share God's same sweet Holy Spirit. Now, Galatians 3 27 says, For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. Now, He's the one that's, that's wrapped us in His life. And we don't live for ourselves, we live for Him. Colossians 2 12 says, Having been buried with Him, in baptism and raised with him through your faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. God raised Jesus from the dead and, and, and in a symbolic way the old person is dying and put in a watery grave and shown to be raised up to new life in Christ. First Peter 3 21 says and this water symbolizes baptism that uh, saves you also not the removal of dirt in the body place for good conscience toward God and saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So baptism is beautiful. It's simple that we're in this thing together. We're in a family and it's Jesus is the head. And so we baptize because he tells us to be baptized. The word of God says, repent and be baptized. And that word is repentance against the job done, but it's baptism that portrays it in a lot of ways. Jason Cole. Jason, have you made your commitment to follow him? Yes, sir. If you want to follow him, you want to serve him, you know that his blood on the cross says nothing you can do that can save him. And you want to live for him as long as you live. And you're here tonight of your free will, desiring to honor him by baptism. Jason, it's our honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then symbolically, you're buried with Christ, raised in your life. There'd be no new life without you, Lord. There'd be only a pathway to death from, from really, from birth on because, well, we have that, that nature of sin.